Oh, yeah, because Nastan didn't show up, so Luma got the DQ. Yep. Okay. So it looks like we're getting ready with Rottweiler and Kurt Koopa. Yep. Preparing here on stage. This is going to be I, this hell of a going set. To, this is going to be high octane. Oh, my gosh, guys. Yeah. Looks like off stream, we got Sketch with the 3-0 over Lay Potato Chip. And meanwhile, we're going to be having Skarmory versus Nestan. Oh, Nestan was one of our DQs. So Skarmory moves on to the loser semis. Meanwhile, Luma and Sketch will be playing off stream during this. So then we'll have our top four going on right now. Yup. Uh, yeah, Luma and Sketch. I don't know if they're going to be playing. Sketch is sitting in the crowd right now, so we... I don't know if we're going to be streaming that match. Uh, Sketch vs. Luma. I don't know how how much you've been listening to like all the music that's being played in here, but I have heard Caramel dancing more times today <laughs> than I have in about the last maybe seven to eight years. And I forgot how I love that song. It's a classic. It's so good. I have a video up on like one of my original like YouTube channel yeah. that has like 37,000 views because it was like a I just ripped it like this brawl edit of it from like <laughs> Newgrounds and just uploaded it. I think I know which one you're talking about too. Yeah, it was so good. I think I've seen like the low quality gifs of it. Yep. All right, but here we go. It's winners finals, and right off the bat, you can tell these players are already so even. It's gonna be interesting because both these characters have like floor traps. Yes. So it's going to be very interesting to see how well they can keep track of their own floor traps. Mm -hmm. Especially for Kurt, because Sylvanos' uh, floor traps are everything so much bigger than Maple's. It's all of it. It's the entire stage. Yeah. However, being in a more kind of brighter environment, we don't have Rottweiler color counterpicking yeah. to hide <laughs> everything, fortunately. I'm not 100% certain if uh, Rottweiler was color counterpicking, but it definitely looked like that when they went to the Shovel Knight stage. I, look. He was. <laughs> <laughs> Look. Look. I think yes. Yes. <laughs> All signs point to yes. Yes. This is also the first time we've gotten to see this stage so far in our bracket as well. Which, uh, this stage is interesting. I think it's also, like you said, we have two characters with uh, ground platform traps with very tiny platforms too. So it's like, I feel like neither Ooh, player has stock. like put too many traps on those platforms yet because it's like, one, it's harder to aim that there, but then it's yeah. like, it doesn't really help as much because it's it's a small area. Definitely. I also think because these platforms are smaller, a character like Sylvanas, who's got such a big, uh, when like, he's got a big hurt, like hitbox. Yeah. I'm like, his nair covers like that entirely both, like, like actually, all four yeah. platforms. So this is going to be a very interesting, like, thing to see, like, what is Kurt going to be able to do when he's in disadvantage trapped on a platform? When Kurt has to like recover downward from the top, oh like into the middle, God. like you can oh, across the stage, it's everywhere. Oh, I thought he was about to just bring him down there, but there we go. Got a little bit of an opening. Still, so, oh my gosh, like we know both players are great, but like Rottweiler is dominant in this match. Oh, oh my gosh! My gosh! Down okay. tilt, Pops gets him up. the read oh. into the down smash. Rawweiler just looking to end this man's career in game number one of Winner's Finals. That was a great recovery there by Kurt. Like, it looked like Raw was trying to style in there for a moment yeah. and just, like kind of take him down, but like Kurt found like the one Boom. perfect opening to get out of that. Ah, that was really cool. Going out there and just like zooming, smack with the Nair, you're done. Okay, got him off. Try to end it. All right, Kurt's trying to come alive here and just at least get this last stock, but that's not going to be. I all. swear I saw the same move twice. The first one was a combo setup, and the second one was a kill, like finish. Yep. I didn't know he had Falcon's knee. Man, Rottweiler is that his, was wild. Rottweiler's play today is looking so good. It's like, man, I wish I like. I'm glad Rottweiler's here. I love seeing yes. uh, Rottweiler whenever there's a tournament because like Rottweiler used to come to all of my events mm -hmm. back in like pre-pandemic, and I was like. I wish this guy was actually out of Heat Wave right now. Yes. I like, get this guy out on that stage. He's the one that you said was like fringe or if not in top 50, right? Yeah, at, at, during like 2018, 2019, RLS, uh, or R, whatever, the RCS, Rival Championship Rivals, Series. Tri RCS, yeah, RCS, yeah. He was like a borderline top 50 player. Or maybe was on the super low I see why. 50. Like, the dude is so good. Another player that we had that was like, 
got like third, third or fourth place at Evil once was Nero. Mm -hmm. He was uh, like one of the best Absa players. I've heard of them, yeah. But Nero doesn't I've really. I've seen anymore. them at uh, previous Emacons. Yeah, Nero used, used to my, yeah. Nero used to be a very active uh, Smash player yeah. in Michigan. Very toxic Pikachu. <laughs> <laughs> the man timed out even when he knew he would lose. That's not being toxic. Oh, it's toxic. <laughs> That's not toxic. <laughs> Why are you going to my people? <laughs> So this stock is taking a lot longer than all the previous ones, but that's a very good thing because the fact that the longer Kr Koopa can stay in this without losing their stock first, look at the amount of damage they've oh. gotten up on it and got the first stock on Rod. My gosh. That's huge. Like I think this stage is, I think because there's no extra platforms, yes. there's just like the one, you have like the one bonus one that appears in carry yeah. But because like the Smashville style platform isn't really moving, what the Ooh, hell was that? Okay. <laughs> I think the way this stage is working out is, I think, more beneficial to the style that Kurt wants to play. Yeah. And it's really slowing down Rottweiler's game plan because Rottweiler was so mobile in utilizing those platforms on, uh, from game one yes. that now that he doesn't have that, it's like, okay, I think we are really seeing Kurt kind of like come alive here. Every single game we have seen Rottweiler play so far, up until now, Rottweiler is utilizing their movement, their momentum, everything to stay underneath platforms and force their opponents to come in. But even before that first stock loss, this is the first game I feel like because of the moving platform that Kurt has finally found a way to make Rottweiler approach him, yeah. not the other way around. And that has like completely changed everything we've seen about Rottweiler so far. But as soon as we get a counterpick stage, I feel like yeah. I feel like that's it's amazing for Kurt, but so much that is the stage, I feel like, and I hope that's not the case, but oh, I don't know. It's guard potential. I actually was thinking if Rottweiler was able to get that conversion while Maple was off stage, yeah. this that would have possibly been the stock as low as 76%. I can see it, yeah. I think the side blast zones aren't as big as other stages there too, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I think this is kind of like a, one of those like medium sized stages. Yeah. Almost At least it feels like that based on how long some of these players are living off the side. Right. The stage yeah, itself yeah. is big though, which like gives so much room for movement. Uh, not camping, oh, but, like passive up play. But how do we get this percent on there? How do we bring it up to 124 to 10? There needs to be something to bring them closer together if Rot wants any chance of staying alive in this game, but. Spider-Man's right up to him and hits him off the top. Kurt Koopa on the board. We're 1-1. One, 1-1. One. One, one. This is our first not blowout of the entire the bracket first, here. This is quite actually the first non-3-0. like 3 -0. Everything, all bracket. 3-0, 3-0, 3-0, 3-0. Even of our uh, our off-stream losers match. Yeah, it was a 3-0. It's crazy. It's crazy. These guys are so good. I mean, there's a reason why these two, the one and two seed of the bracket. Yes. Uh, they were, I think these two have been the one and two seed of pretty much every Yomacon the last few. <laughs> I was a big fan of this stage in particular for Rottweiler. Can't wait to see how they can utilize it against Kurt. Yeah, I really hope the Silvano stage is really good for Silvano. Yeah. Oh, off the and top. 36% only, man. What a healthy stock. That kill was early, too. Were they, was. were they triple digits? I think so. I think like even after the hit, it was only like mid, like probably like only a hundred, like twenty, hundred thirty. Yeah, like the hit. lowish. Yeah. Oh, oh my god! My gorgeous. Go, bring, bring him down. Oh no! Okay. Got back. See, that's okay. what's crazy about the like <laughs> the Earth Elemental yes. characters. They all have like these weird tell. It's like oh, there's a blade of grass on stage. Boom! Don't worry, I'll teleport <laughs> back to it. Don't mow the lawn. I can get there. <laughs> Oh, okay. Oh, perfect read there to get him. Yeah, reads the recovery. Look at that, just blade of grass. A neat little patch. It is. All right, we got the little plant dude. Got the projectiles, keeps him off stage. Kurt yep. Kuba just gave him a little bit too much space, though, I feel yeah, like. Yeah, he really kind of just allowed Rawa to kind of like recover. Yeah. Oh, Ooh. same as last game. Well, as long as there's the little seedlings kind of uh, orbiting uh, your opponent, you can really just like yes. zoom up there. And at 100%, that is just. You really have your opponent has to be so like aware of a pot like the potential kill out of nowhere. Yep. Okay, recovers back. A little bit of a juggle. <gasps> oh no! Oh no! What an unfortunate self-destruct by Rottweiler on his own counterpick. Too. I was just gonna say that on his own counterpick. So it's like, ooh, that's rough. 
Like, we take it. Yeah. But even if Kurt wins this, he's going to have to win the Sage again. But I feel like because of how kind of momentum-based this matchup has been with, like, the neutral, once one person has, like, a pretty big lead, oh, he... That was across the Sage. I think that, that was, was that bad DI. No DI. No DI. No DI. <laughs> At least it wasn't bad GDI. Can you pat GDI in Rivals? You can pat can you GDI hold down? anywhere. <laughs> you can hold down. It's a way of life. <laughs> when it out, pat GDI out. My God. That, I, that's crazy. I think that actually was the, the that's momentum the switch. Oh, 100%. Because look, now it's done. Oh. Ooh, popped off. So they both popped off, actually. <laughs> they both popped off. You love to see it. Dude, look at how intense Rottweiler's face is. Like, I heard Rottweiler go, let's go! Yeah. <laughs> over the, like, I don't know if the crowd could pick that up on, like, our mics, but, like, that was loud. And these are, like, some nice noise-canceling headsets that Gucci yeah. has, so, like, dang. We're in, this is some good-ass rivals right this now. This is some good-ass good rivals. rivals. <laughs> Back to this stage, though. Yeah. Um, this was this was rough the first time we saw it. Like, you gotta wonder why. Why is Kurt counterpicking here? He I lost here game one. Yeah, you think about it though. Like sometimes when you go to like the struck two stage or game one, like it's almost like kind of like agreed upon that this was the most neutral start that you could ask for these yeah, two. Yeah, but I feel like Rod kind of did. Rod Lala did kind of do kinda really nice well here. On it. He he was kind of nice with it on this. Those nares and the up airs and the back airs that cover everything oh. on the middle there. That was such a nice potential frame trap. Yeah. <laughs> Covering the Good. appearance out of the grass. Didn't Down quite tilt. lead to a kill yet. Oh, he's charging a big. Backs up fine, a little wave dash back. Okay. Trying to just find his way in to get this, uh, cause we've seen Rottweiler get some crazy early stocks. Yes, but they're both neck and neck right now. Only about 15, 16% or so separate the two of them. Great recovery. I feel like I want to see Kurt oh, be a little bit more Kurt. aggro in edge guards like that. Yes, that before then it's just like he was waiting a little bit, just kind of letting Rottweiler come back. But then I guess he did it when it mattered. Oh, oh, oh! I thought it was the other smash attack. <laughs> I also thought it was. Uh, I think up smash is the one with the, the roof dirt comes out of the yeah. ground. Can we recover? Fine. There's grass. <laughs> yep. Okay. Uh, convert. The kill. Strong up air. Just <laughs> smash attacks the little homie, bro. He just nukes it out of existence. No way! He just got that kill! <laughs> All right, so we're going to up a whole song. All right, we do not know as good as Kurt. Kurt no, picked the see, stage for a reason. This is why we're on the casting desk, and Kurt's yes. up there in winter's finals. True. Then oh. again. Oh! Okay. Could oh finish God. I thought Rottweiler was about to get, like, the the most beautiful zero to, like, death off at, of, like, 50%, actually. Oh, up oh, smash! Oh, big charge. If we get, like, one, maybe Look two more that, big openings, though. Look at dancing on that little bit of a platform, just getting some, right? like, ledge cancels. Ooh, his movement's clean. Dash attack. Just give him that old headbutt. Kurt needs to find a way in, but Rottweiler is looking mean right there in that center, but it doesn't matter because, hey, Kurt's fine being out there. Yeah, and honestly, I love how much like Rottweiler is actually kind of like mitigating how much percent he's taking here in this last game of uh, last stock. Yeah. Where he knows that like he's he's got a he's got a little bit of a mountain to climb yep. or a big grassy hill if you would. <laughs> um, no. Oh. Oh. Okay. okay. Got back. Fine. We're grass <laughs> we're, We are forest characters. We recover from everywhere. Eighty-seven percent. Rottweiler can probably at least like mitigate like get like fifty percent off of one nice neutral exchange, or he oh. can just self destruct <laughs> and just shut me up. Most. But we're going to be going into game five. Oh, this is what I want to see out of it. Exactly. Uh, this is what I want to see. It nice. just hit me that, like, I never noticed all the different Earth characters kind of recover to the ground like that. Yeah. Except for Craig. He can't recover to the ground, so he makes his own ground. <laughs> he, tr he is he is that guy. <laughs> Craig is that beetle. Yep. This is going to be interesting because the fact that if Kurt was able to pull off the stairway combos to death in that last stage, I feel like it's even easier on this stage. Or, honestly, I think this is scary. for both. I think both players here are yeah. like going to be at home for just being able to just go just boom, 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 up on the top and kill. Based on their play styles, I feel like this would 
arguably be the most neutralist stage because oh it's like they both have God. good advantages. That down smash was ludicrous. This damage though is already like nearly lapping him. So how does Kurt Koopa get in around these platforms to get in through those strong hitboxes around the grass and get anything more on Rottweiler? Because I feel like at least like Rottweiler is killing Kurt Koopa earlier than vice versa. And that is what's causing this tremendous lead now. This, the, the triangle of platforms is actually yeah. just the danger zone. Rottweiler's movement uh, with like kind of like uh, platform, like way dashing on the platform, mm -hmm. getting in that uh, nice strong back air, or just like finding like a nair or something, uh, while he's just got the total zone. Oh my god, because uh, because he's holding oh in. Oh my god. <laughs> Rottweiler was like, I'm just gonna keep going. I'm gonna hold forward, and eventually I'm just gonna maybe kill him or I'll just end it myself. Yeah, despite that, like a little bit of a misplay there to cause a stock, like I would like to retract my earlier statement of this being the most neutral stage between the characters <laughs> because Rottweiler is going off on this stage. Yeah, this is looking like Rottweiler's home. This is actually his tower. SD'd and it's still left. Yeah. That is such a cool attack. <laughs> yeah, way dash off immediately like. Oh, that movement was gorgeous. There it goes, coming down. Boom, boom. Oh, try to you catch him. You have to watch out for everything. Yeah, the traps are there. Oh, like calls it out. Imagine if you're like if you're Sephiroth with more control over your sword and like eight projectiles, <laughs> and you're a dog, and you're a weird dog. <laughs> Very oh. low profile. There we Off go. Air. No, that was great. The eye though. Okay. Just. Oh, we tried to go for that spike. That was the Kurkuba special. Gonna get the edge guard. Covers fine, but oh, 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 those great CI, but just barely was a two high percent. Oh my gosh, I was trying to figure out what, why is Rawaler just staring at him, <laughs> dead in the eye. Oh, tried to, that would have, I think. Ended. Oh, this is big. Can he convert this even further? Yeah, 156 percent, looking like nothing right now. Kurt does have some openings there. Can he go down? Can he finish it? Oh my God, Kurt! Kurt. Oh my God! Oh, Recover's fine. Kurt Koopa. That up air might have sealed it. Recover oh. is fine. Oh, that was, my, oh my god. god. Oh, what a. That ending oh was. Oh my gosh. Oh, phenomenal. Both I knew we were, it, we were going to be treated with a banger set. God. Best, best